This is an incredible prediction trick that works with math. It's really easy to do, but it looks amazing. So first thing you're gonna do is write a prediction on a piece of paper. So I put my prediction aside. I'm gonna write the number four, six, three, four. Now I'm gonna ask the spectator to give me any four digit number. It's completely random, it's their choice. So let's say they said three, two, five, seven, and it really is their choice. Now I'm gonna put another random number on the page. So I'll put, let's see, six, uh, seven, four, let's see, two, okay? And then I'm gonna ask them to give me one more random number. So let's say they said one, five, eight, nine, let's say, right? Now I'm gonna put one more random number on the page. So I'll say eight, four, one, zero, right? Now, I'm gonna ask them to take out their calculator and add up the numbers on this page. And when they do that math, it's gonna come out to 24,632. Now you could pause it here and check my math, but that's what it's gonna to come to. And I knew that because that's the exact prediction that I had on this piece of paper. So like I said, this is super simple and here's how it works. First, you're gonna write a random five digit number as your prediction. Now the only thing that it has to have is a two to start the number. It's gotta start with two. The rest of the numbers, completely up to you. But you have to memorize what those last four numbers are because that's gonna give you your first number, which is not really random, but you're gonna to try to make it look random. So in this case, it's 4632, so we're just gonna add two. Whatever those four digits are, you add two. So 4632 becomes 4634, I just added two. So that was my first number, 4634. So now I'm gonna put this aside. Now, I'm gonna ask them for a random number, and this really is random. They can put any number they want. So they said three, two, five, seven. So now what I'm gonna do is for my next, again, random number, it's not really random, I'm gonna subtract each of their digits from nine. So nine minus three, that's six. Nine minus two, that's seven. Nine minus five, that's four. Nine minus seven, that's two. Now, of course, you wanna be quick about this, right? You don't, you don't wanna like do math while you're doing it, right? So you just wanna act like it's random. Like, oh, I'm gonna put a random number here. So this one, uh, let's say six seven, four, two, right? You don't want to act like you're doing math. Now you're going to ask them for a random number again. And there it is. Let's say whatever the number they picked. And once again, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to subtract from nine to get these four digits. And now when you add these numbers up, if you follow that pattern, it will always add up to whatever is on your prediction. So a couple of things to keep in mind while you're doing this trick. First, you want to be quick with the math, right? You can't look like you're thinking about doing math or else it's going to be pretty obvious. You want to make it feel like it's completely random. Secondly, Sometimes people, if you ask somebody from a four digit number, they're gonna to try to trick you up and they're gonna say like, oh, four, 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 which is fine, except then your next number is gonna to have to be five, 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 and that's gonna look a little weird. So if you have multiple people that you're doing this trick for, sometimes what I'll do is say, hey, uh, give me a digit, one digit number, anything between zero and nine, and they're gonna say four. I'll say, then I go, all right, now you give me a digit. Very rarely will two people give you the same digit back to back, right? So if you have multiple people, you can get the four digit number by asking for one digit at a time. The other part is the prediction. So I just wrote it on a piece of paper, right? That was, that was an easy way to do it, but that's not super exciting. There's so many ways you can reveal the number at the end. You could have that piece of paper in your pocket or have it somewhere else or, or have something written on a wall somewhere or uh, a deck of cards. So in this case, I have the card set up so that it says 24,000. 632, just like the answer to my prediction was, right? So if I had that, I could do some kind of false cuts and maybe a couple of you know fake shuffles with these cards, then put them aside, do the entire trick, and then say, all right, this is the number you came up with, let's see what number I have. And then you show the 24,632. Still looks pretty amazing. So there's so many different ways you can reveal the end. Be creative with it and have fun.